So I had this little grade nine boy come into my office today, upset because his best friend is ignoring him and he doesn't know why. Oh, what did you tell him? The truth is this kid is weird. He didn't say that. No, I lied. Told him to be patient. <laughs> so that's counseling. Haha, uh -huh, there's some. Is it okay? Yes, it's strawberry. Let's do it. What do you think's more important? Friendship or romantic love? Friendship, definitely. Love is overrated. Well, shouldn't a love relationship have everything friendship has, plus intimacy and sex? Yeah, but you can get sex anytime, plus you can always have intimacy with a friend. Love is complicated. Everybody always ends up sacrificing too much. I think the grass is always greener. Maybe. So, how long have you been single? Two years. Holy. Do you and your boyfriend... Ben. Ben ever talk about marriage? We're not really into marriage. Well, how long have you two been together? Four years. Whoa! What's he waiting for? Why does he want to commit? He's committed. He is totally committed, I'm Angela. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. I talk way too much. His dad went gay. What? His dad came out when he was 26. Maybe that has something to do with it. Ben doesn't want to marry you because he's afraid he's going to turn homo just like his dad. What if he's having gay thoughts right now? Have you ever caught him having sex with men? No. Does he ever require ass play during intercourse? Okay, enough, Angela. Sorry. That is a little cucumber sandwich. Thank you. I got yogurt. Fine. What happened with you guys the other day? Rocco's a dick. So it's true. What? No! You guys had sex in the whole mess. Shh! I think I'd still be working here. And then he went around and told everybody, now he doesn't want to see me. You had sex with whom in the whole mess? Is that what I heard? Mm, maybe it's the alcohol talking, Brent. It's cough medicine. Mm, it's medicine for your loveless marriage. Miss Chu, now is not the time or the place. You're right. Sorry. Or what? What are you going to do, Brent? You are way out of line. And you're not drinking at recess again? Well, you should know, queen of mental illness. You said things would be different. You're a drunk and a liar. I wonder how many students would like to know they're being counseled by a recovering addict. What? What? Turn double back, we're almost there.